Welcome back to Washoe, Nevada for episode 16 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's nearly 10 to 4, the day is running away with me, as it always seems to. Um, the Wilson animal trailer needs to go back. I have now got a load more animals. I've made a load of TMR. I've Well, actually, I'll show you. It's probably easier, isn't it? Uh, if we go down to our animals. Right, so we are up to 34 of each colour. They're all Brahmin, but different colours. Uh, so we've got 120, 132 cows now. Uh, cleanliness is 99%. We we'll need to clean that. Water's fine. Straw's fine. Total mix ration. They've got up to 404,000 litres. I'm not quite full, but it's in the green, so that's good. Um, and then actually in the silo, I've made a load of total mix ration and stored it in there, about 230,000 litres of it. So we're okay. The cattle are all right. We're, we haven't got to worry. So it's the cotton harvest. That's what we need to be getting on with. Um, I had a high dump bucket on this, but then there was the modded, the new one that came out, the 8,000 litre one. I'm actually going to take this over to the store anyway because I'm going to get the um, the John Deere cotton pack um, bale spike really for cotton bales for this. Beacons on. Get us over to the store, then we'll get the cotton equipment over and we'll get on with this. I wanted to start in now because like I said, 10 to 4, the light will start to go after 5-ish, it starts to dip and the cotton harvest is going to take a while so I need to get on with it. What I'm going to do is probably harvest the entire field but as it's going I might do a few or however many full bales I get to start off with and then I might start unloading partial bales. That way it gives me more scope and options when it comes to selling them for me making some profit. Uh, because if I hit 100% complete on the contracts and I've still got bales left, that money's mine. So rather than kind of losing it and putting an entire bale in, I might do some partial bales. I don't know, I'll, I'll have a think about that as we get further on. I did end up moving the harvesters because they were kind of in the way of stuff. Right, the high dump bucket is there already. Which I'll come and collect later, but what I need is the bale fork. I can just use that trailer and do a couple of bales at a time, but I'm going to try, I don't know, I'll have a look and see what options I... I can make work, that's probably the best bet. Uh, why is that not going down? There we go. So, under cotton technology. There, that's the McCormack Industries three spear frame. Release that. It'll give me some options anyway. Oh, hang on, what's in there? It's going to go in there straight to the... Right. Uh, 
Actually, what I will do... I'll bring that up later on. Right, let's get these harvesters rolling, shall we? The one, here we come. Let's open this up. We'll get this one rolling. And then we can go back for the other one. Okay, let's go. Right. Where's the spinner? Just there, isn't it? I think I'll go far with them, actually, if we fill one to there. Although, how do I get into it? Off that track. I can come in the back though, can't I? That's alright. I suppose technically I just could just deliver one bale at a time with the wheel loader, couldn't I? I don't have to put it on a trailer. Potentially, we'll see. Okay, what I'll probably do is go up the field a little bit and start this one off and get it to turn left as well when it gets to the end. And they can do kind of a, a strips, a few strips each, and then I'll just move them up as we go. That'll do. Awesome, right, so what I'll also need to do is keep a track on the contract. I've got a few other contracts there. There's a fertilising one on field three for 41 grand again. Okay, right. Well, at least we're off and running. That's the main thing. It's going to take some time. That's why I thought I'd start it now. But with two harvesters running on it, I'll say it shouldn't take as long. Uh... Yeah, maybe.
Okay, so we are about 20, what are we, 24 percent complete on the contract. Big chunk of the field's been done, but there is a massive chunk left to do. I'm going to grab the wheel loader. I'm going to go and get one of the cotton bales that's come out already, because I'm curious to see how much 20,000 litres um, is going to affect the percentage. So I'm going to grab one and take it to sell, and we'll see. And I'm assuming these forks should work on these bales. I mean, I know they came as part of the, deal, the John Deere DLC, in which case they're kind of designed for round bales, but should be right. So now easily we're going to be able to manoeuvre down the little lane. I might have to change position on it when we get there, but for the time being, I'll come in from the side. And I could use a trailer, I could load them all up onto a trailer. I could use the one that they've given me as an option. There's all, yeah, I just thought I'd just do this. I'm just going to give the spike a go, to be honest with you. It's just like a massive battle, wouldn't it? A little bit higher than that, I think. Okay, right. I'm not going to be hitting the road, so I don't need to worry about the beacons. Or I shouldn't need to worry about the beacons. Unless there's any hikers wandering around the countryside, but... Unless I think it's an incredibly... cuboid cloud drifting towards them. I should be okay. Actually, I might go a little bit higher than that as well. So I don't hit any uh, bumps in the ground. Which I don't know which way my second harvest had turned. I took it up a little bit further. I was hoping it was going to turn away, but it might have not have done. I don't know. We'll see in a minute. I can come back and check that. Spinner is just there. You can see the uh, wool ball on top of the uh, building rotating. What I'll do is check the percentage just before, because obviously they've gone up a little bit from what the workers are doing. I could have cut down through there, actually. Can I get down through here? Yeah. No problem. Is there a bump? Okay. So before we take it over there, contract is now at the moment. I oh, was still on 25% complete. Okay. Well, let's drop this and see what it says then. Ten percent transported. Oh, that's worrying. Twenty-eight. So that one bale only accounted for three percent of the contract. I don't think we're going to make any money on this, you know. I mean, apart from the contract itself. But hmm. Okay. Well, we'll continue. Just trying to maximise pro maximise profits, as you do. Time's ticking away, quarter five. The light will start to go. Okay, well, this is a small indication of what we need. There is still a lot of this field to do, to be fair. Right, what I will do, I'm going to grab the other bale and bring it over here. I'll stack them all by the side. I think I'll do that as I kind of go along. Typically it drops on both this end. Could have made my life easier, could it?
Yeah, we're looking. Might be a little bit high actually. I really do hope there's nothing in front of me. Well, it's done. Um, the field is cleared. We started just before four o'clock. I think it was five to four. It's now 20 to seven. So it's taken us two hours, 45 minutes playing on normal time. Um, and here's where we stand. Contract is saying 90% complete. I have offloaded the first bale you've already seen, and I did do another bale. Um, and we have got a few bales. I've been piling them all up over in the spinnery. This one was the last one to come out of a harvester. That's not quite 20,000. I think it's 16,000 something. I did end up using the truck to bring a couple over. Um, I'll explain what I've done when we get down there. Put the lights on just so we can see. Um, so what I'm hoping now is with the 10% left we've got to un like to put into the sell point we might there's me saying at the start I said I don't think we're going to make much money we might do alright I want to say we I might do alright 16,176 this I'm going to put to one side when I get down there 
I'm going to put the 20,000 litre barrels in first, because the first 20,000 litre barrel I put in was worth 3%. Potentially, three of those is 9%. That's going to put us at 99% complete, in theory, if it works. Which means I've only got 1% left to do at that point. So what I'm thinking, this is where it's going to get a little bit peculiar, and I'll explain. So, here I've got 16,000 litre bale I've just dropped. That's a 10,000 litre bale. That's a 5,000 litre bale. So it's given me some options. So potentially, three of these going in, and I've got six sitting there. If it's the same as the first one, that should be worth three, that should be worth three, that should be worth 3%. And then if I put the 10,000 litre bale in, that should take me to 100% complete, which will leave me three 20,000 litre bales, a 16,000 litre bale and a five. In theory. I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm, I'm hoping. Well, we'll put the first 20,000... Whoa, that didn't quite go to plan. Got a little bit... A little bit out of control there. Right, OK. Um, we'll do a 20,000. We'll put that in. And if it goes to 93... Then we could be on to a winner here. We could be. I know this sounds really, really sad. And this is kind of... When I do contracts like this, when I'm kind of working out logistics and things, I can't be the only person that kind of gets excited. You're kind of thinking, I wonder if it's going to work. And how much money will I make? And, you know, it just, I don't know. There's always that kind of... I'm just plonking them all in and going, oh, yeah, OK. I kind of... You know, I'm hoping it all works out right. Right, let's pull that out. Oh, 92. That's not fair. First one was definitely 3%. Oh, this is not going to work out how I thought. Okay. <laughs> it's going to eat into more of our bales. That's not good. At 2%, that's going to take 5 of the 6. Oh... Oh, well, we'll still have some spare. We'll still make some money. Just not as much as I thought. Yeah, it's going to do 2% for each one. That's weird. I don't understand why it's done that. It went from 25 to 28% when I did the, uh, the first 20,000 litre bale. So why are these ones only registering as 2% now? Like I say, we'll still make money, but... <laughs> Don't know why I'm still checking it. Right, two more and we should be okay and then all the rest of it will be mine. <laughs> that at least is a theory. Right then. So this one now then should take us to contract complete. Oh, I don't really go on there properly, but it'll be right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Give me contract complete. Yes, contract on field one finished. Right. <laughs> that sounds really sad. <laughs> Getting so excited about that. Right, so, potentially now, what I can do is complete the contract and all the barrels I've got left. So, it'll be 20,000, 16, 10, 30, 46,000. 51,000 litres? That can't be right. Well, maybe it is. Okay. Well, we'll see. Okay. Let's go into here then. Contract complete. Lease cost, because I borrowed their equipment. Um, I leased... 
yeah the stuff I've got is all fine so the harvesters will go back the truck will go back and the trader will go back collect on that uh, let's have a look see what's available here it's good transport one fertilizing field 12 fertilizing field 3 I'll get on that uh, accept contract that one can chug away into the evening right then so this now should be all profit Bearing in mind it's now near 7 o'clock. I'll get the other contract done, that'll be a bit more money. And then, um, my usual in the morning fuel run and water run, fuel runs and water runs. And we should be looking pretty healthy in the bank account again. Fantastic. Come on. <laughs> 48 grand. <laughs> This contract was worth every penny. Wow. Okay. Let's tick in the 16, then we'll do the 10 and the 5. So it'll be another 48. Oh, that's going to put this contract at about 150 grand. So whilst it did take a while, blimey. Blimey, was it worth it? Possibly by morning, my fields that are, uh, have got crops in might be ready to harvest. If I do my own cotton harvest, I think I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think I'm going to do. I'm going to lease the John Deere. I want to try a different cotton harvest, and I've just done this cotton harvest, so we'll use some different vehicles. I think. Which way around did I do this? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get rid of both of them anyway, so. Nice way to finish the day, isn't it? Up financially again. Oh, that's the 10. So as it turned out, I didn't need to worry about doing all these kind of separate ones. But you never know. You could get to a point where you've only got 1% to go and you don't want to chuck a 20,000 litre bale in. Because when I did that on Ravenport... I didn't get the excess. It's not like when you pour crops in, because it takes it as a whole bale, it just registers that it's put a bale in and that's it. 24. Awesome. Right. Probably going to keep up with the bale spike because I'll need that tomorrow. I think it was only, was it 300 and something to lease, wasn't it? So. That's all good. I will need to check actually. That's a good point. What have I got leased at the moment? I've got a few bits, haven't I? I'll check on those. Fantastic. I need to bring the pickup back over actually. Take this back. I'll probably put the bale spike. Oh, which is a good point to put the bucket as well. I'll have a think. Just yeah, money. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. What a result. Okay. Happy days. to this yard and I'll take the pickup back with the trailer in a bit awesome I need to grab the fertiliser now whoops uh, and get over to field 3 get that fertilised that'll be another well I probably need to buy a bit of fertiliser but about 41 grand for that that's going to take me up over 400,000 excellent looks like we might be getting our uh our second cow pasture quicker than I thought at this rate. Although, what did I say I was going to buy? I do need to buy some more stuff. More stuff. Oh, yeah, I know what I was thinking about. Maybe a second harvest. Oh, we finally got, <laughs> we've got a wool pallet with our one sheep. I'm going to buy another sheep. That was the other thing I said. You know what? Let's do it now. Let's get Jeremy a friend. I'm, just, I'm going to get it delivered. Have it shipped. Uh, he's brown, black and white. Let's go with... 
A black and white. A friend for Jeremy. There we go. Cool, there we go. Jeremy has a friend. Which means I have to put some more feed and stuff in there. Water, but that's all. Okay. Right. Let's start cracking this. Oh, I've got that potato harvest to do as well, haven't I? Yes. That will need to be done too. surprising actually um, I just came to put fertilizer in this to go and do field 3 the contract and obviously when I've been finishing fertilizing jobs bits and bobs here and there I've been putting odds and ends half pallets and various different things into there it obviously soon adds up because there's over 9,000 litres of fertilizer in here and I certainly didn't put 9,000 litres of fertilizer I mean obviously I have but obviously in small amounts so it's just gradually built up and built up. I'm thinking, because I've been using this quite a lot, and the sprayers I haven't really used. Um, I mean, I did originally. I, I might sell the sprayers in the morning and buy a bigger set. I'm thinking, I mean, the Rubicon's really expensive. I'd love to get that, the Hardy. But there's also the Lieb one from the, um, the Horse Aggravation Pack. Um, I'm going to have a look in store because I think there's also the Amazon one which I haven't downloaded or installed but I might do we'll see if that's available from uh, the store but anyway, this will go to field 3 and we'll get this uh, going I just, yeah, just suddenly thought it kind of as I was loading up the fertiliser I suddenly thought, I, I honestly don't remember having that much in there but it's the same with the seed I think every now and again I've put odd bits of seed into the seed silo and I think there's a load in there as well Happy days, All right? That's meant I've got to buy any. This should be enough to do all of field three. I hope so. Let's cut through the trees. So I put it up. Get on with it. What I'll probably do is run a strip up that way and I'll do a strip at the other end just for turning. You know, sometimes at this end when I'm using this there's a few rocks and bits and bobs. I'm pretty sure Barris on his map he's taken all this out in the middle and he's got one field that runs right the way through. It's massive. Yeah, so if I run a strip up here, and then what I'll do is I'll start spraying across that way from the top, and I'll do a strip down. Actually, the other end's not too bad. I think what I might do is then just let it run across from the top of the field and come all the way down. Anyway, I did say I'd see you later on. Um, what I'll probably do is see you either at the end of the contract or in the morning. Just so you know, I mean, at the end of the day, in the morning, I'll have... Well, there'll be the money for this contract, then fuel runs and water runs so we're probably going to be looking at being up around 600,000 maybe by the morning just thinking yeah possibly I do generally try and show it on my videos like in the on the start of a video or if I'm doing it in the morning I do a little bit of showing me doing fuel or water or one of them because again I don't want people to think I'm just cheating money in you know rather than doing those jobs every day I just put 200 grand into the bank I do actually genuinely do those runs and I know people still believe that that's not in the spirit of the game, but I am only doing one run a day on all of those. I don't. I could just spend all day doing fuel runs and make an absolute fortune, but I don't. Just once a day, all good. All right, let's go with that. We up at the edge, and we're a little bit over. Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. Cool.
And so as you've already seen, water runs, fuel runs have all been done. It's 8.42 in the morning. We are back on field three. <coughs> and um, we fertilised it last night, got up this morning, needs its second fertilising, so that'll be another 41 grand. Um, on the two fertilisings, I've just had to refill, let's say refill this, I put three pallet loads in at 2,500 a pallet. So for an 82 grand payout, two fertilisings, it's only cost me seven and a half grand so far. So, this is going to continue. I'm going to jump out and get out of the way. Um, as far as, yes, yeah, so up to what, 632 grand. Another 41 for that is going to take us up to 671, which is amazing. Uh, over at the farm, we are doing really well overnight with the cows. Um, productivity is 99%, fantastic. We have got 19,714 litres of manure, 25,352 litres of slurry, and 15,002 litres of milk overnight, which is, wow, I mean, I'm over the moon with that. That's really good. Um, but what I am going to do before I finish this episode is I said about putting in one of the um, Mercury Farm Shed Pack silos. Um, and not this, again, we keep talking about mods, these mods that, or, that keep popping up that are going to be used quite a lot. And they are, because realistically, they make a massive difference. Um, the thing about it being, if you look at having a silo, the standard silos don't hold uh, everything. If you use a standard silo and then put, I'm trying to think, I want to get it right. If you put um, an extension next to it, or is it a hayloft with an extension? It allows you to put forage and stuff in them. But if you get an extension, it's 90 grand. Whereas Jim's silo is 59. To me, that's a no-brainer, you know? Even if you use it on every map you've got, it's a no-brainer. It used to be, uh, was it BD... BD... SSB? BDB SSB? Um, that had the forage and chip silo on FS17. I used that on pretty much every map, I think, in the end. Um, so anyway, our oats are growing really, really well. Our cotton up on our other field is growing really, really well. Cattle are fine, Jeremy and his new friend are fine. Uh, so yeah, everything's alright. What I'm going to do is put this silo in. Just over here. And like I said earlier on... Or was it the last episode? I can't remember now. Um, that will give us a combined capacity for forage, TMR, all the rest of it, of about 800,000 litres, which... Again, to me, that makes perfect sense. Um, I was asked a question by Joe, who's just started doing cows um, and had watched my episode yesterday, not yesterday, the last episode, and said, if you can buy TMR, why are you going to all the trouble of, of grass and straw, uh, hay and straw and silage? Um, because fairly cheaply, you can buy TMR um, and you could make silage, sell some silage and buy the TMR. Absolutely you can, and that's the thing about it. Um, well, I've said it so many times before about choices. The thing about this, the silos that you can buy anything from now, um, and Jim's maps and all, we're pretty good for that kind of thing as well anyway, is that yes, you can buy TMR from those silos now, which are mods. Before those mods existed, you couldn't. You had to make TMR. Um, and realistically, even using the silos, like the one on this map and Jim's silo, uh, where you can kind of put all the ingredients into the silo loose, before those mods existed, it was all done by bales. You would either have your straw and your hay bales and then loose silage, or you would have all three done in bales, and those bales would be put into a food mixer, and your, your ration would be done that way. So it's all down to the mods what's available and at the end of the day if you want to buy your tmr buy it absolutely do whatever you want to do you haven't got to do it the way i do it and and i just kind of generally do 
make my TMR because it's kind of part of the farming process. There are probably loads of farmers out there that go and buy their TMR. They might actually just buy mixed ration for their animals um, because they might be running a cattle farm, dairy farm, whatever, and they don't have the arable land to be producing all the stuff themselves to make their own TMR. So absolutely, people probably do buy in their TMR, probably buy in their bales as well. So, you know, however you want to do it, it really is entirely up to you. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go across to placeables. Uh, it's under silos, and I'm going to go with the red one. I did say that because it kind of matches the barn, so that one there. And I think I'm just going to put it, because you can drive through it, which I think is a lovely feature. I'm going to put it about, well, about there, I think. That's where it's going to let me come over a little bit. Yeah, it's not liking that so much. About there. Uh, maybe back a little bit. Bingo. And then... Actually, does fit that quite well, doesn't it? So what I can do now is the rest of the silage from here can go into this one, and then I can cut all of field 16 and field 10 again, or the rest of field 10, uh, make hay again. All that hay can come into here, uh, and then I can get a load of straw. I might buy straw actually. I'm just trying to think. I will get some off of this field here, that's why I'm doing the oats in this field 9. Um, and just try and get as much on hand as I possibly can. And the great thing with this silo, compared to the one that's on the map, is because the drop pit here is directly underneath the pipe, you can actually bring your mixer wagon into here, you can drop everything in, make the mix, then put it directly back into the silo, you don't even have to move the trailer. It's it's absolutely fantastic. So there we go. On that note, I think we'll finish the episode. We've added a bit more to the to the farm, haven't we? Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. Actually, one last thing before we finish uh, is uh, the contract for fertilising on field three is at eighty three percent. That's brilliant. I'm going to pay off another fifty grand off the loan. So let's repay. Oops, I've done 55. Ah, never mind. That's alright. There we go, another 55 grand paid off the loan. Awesome. Right, well I will see you on the next one. We've got potato to sort out. I think what I'll probably do off screen is a load of hay and stuff to get some into this silo. Um, and then potentially our cotton will be ready. It's not ready to harvest yet. But loads more to do. I am working towards now my second cow pasture, which will go on this plot as well. Let's increase these cattle. Fantastic. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.